Hi and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Now in this tutorial we're going to look at moving your files from Dreamweaver up onto your host. If you haven't already, watch the previous video in this series about how to connect to your host. So we've done that already. And the next part is actually moving these physical files up onto the server. So to do it, there's two ways. And we'll do it the long way to get started with because it's quite easy. And then we'll look at a little more um, um, a quicker way, but um, slightly more complicated. So um, we've got my file index.html open. I'd like to move this up onto my website. So I'm going to go up to site and go to put. Okay, it tries to connect with your server and it should work, fingers crossed. Hopefully you've got a faster upload speed than I do here. Um, so it's going to ask you, would you like to copy the dependent files? What that means is, um, see these images here? They are separate files on my hard drive. I can see them on my desktop in my exercise file. Where is he? Um, so you can see they're actually separate files in here. Okay, so these are the files that I'm using um, to make this website. They are what they call dependent files. This is the actual file to put up. So if I say no, it's just going to put up the index page. If I say yes, it's going to put up the index plus, can you see it's putting all the JPEGs up as well. Now that they've uh, been uploaded or put, they should be accessible on your domain name now. So I'm going to jump to Google Chrome and I'm going to type out my website. So I've put mine in a strange place. Um, you should be able to go to uh, www.yourfancydomain.com and, and hit enter and you should be taken to your website. Now mine's hiding here on my website and voila. There's our very basic website. So the dependent files have gone up, which is these images and all my HTML. Now if I click on About Us, hmm, bit of a problem. Okay, the reason there's a problem is you actually, but I'm back in Dreamweaver now, so I've jumped back into Dreamweaver. You actually need to put up all of these pages separately. So I put up the index page, but when I click the About Us page link, it doesn't know where it is. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go to About Us and go to Site and go to Put. Dependent files, yeah, why not? Do the same for contact us, moving to that tab, go to site, go to put, dependent files, go yes. All right, so all three pages should be up now. So now I should be able to go back to Chrome and go back to my homepage and fingers crossed, go to the about us, yes, contact us, yes, and homepage. Cool, so it's live, it's accessible on a website um, and yeah, we should be able to connect. Great, so let's jump back into Dreamweaver. So that's how you put your website up. Now we've done it in individual pages. Um, that can be a bit time consuming if you've created, if you've got hundreds of pages. So what you can do is watch this over here in my files. If you can't see files, you might be on insert, click on files. I can hold shift and click all of these guys. So do whatever way you can to select. Some people hold shift, some people hold command, but whatever you can do to select all of these images. And then you can see this little arrow here, it says put to remote server. Okay, and this will put, would you like to put pen of files? I'm gonna say yes. And we'll put them all in one go. Okay. This can be a little bit easier if you've updated lots and lots of pages. You don't have to do them all individually. Great, preparing to upload. Come on, slow internet connection. Gone. All right, and they'll be up. All right, so that's how to upload your um, pages from Dreamweaver to your host and making them accessible via your domain name. All right, I'll uh, see you in the next tutorial.